creating a Google assignment in Brightspace. To add a Google assignment to your Brightspace content area, you're first going to navigate to the content area from Brightspace. From here, you're going to go ahead into the unit where you want that assignment to appear for your students. So in this case, I'm going to select Brightspace Training. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm now going to come over here and go to the Add Existing button. This does seem counterintuitive, but this is where we need to go to access the Google Assignment LTI. So I'm going to hit Add Existing. And I'm going to be given a, given a variety of options to choose from. Uh, I'm going to select the More option. A list of options will appear for me and I'm going to go here, here and you'll see that the first one under third party is Google Assignments. This is the one that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and select Google Assignments. Brightspace will then prompt me to sign in and verify that this is the account that I want to use. So I'm going to hit continue. And then a third window will appear and as you look at this you'll see it'll be very familiar to you if you have created an assignment in Google Classroom before. All of those same fields are here they're just in a slightly different order. I can go ahead and change my point value and assign a date that I want my students to complete this by. I'm going to go ahead and give this a title. And any instructions that I want, I'm going to go and type into this box. Click and complete the assignment. <clears throat> You'll notice, um, again, if I want to add a rubric, just like I'm used to in Google Classroom, I have that option to do that here. I can also turn on that plagiarism checker that we have with originality reports through our uh, Google uh, licensing. So feel free to go ahead and turn that on if you wish. Underneath of that, I'm going to be given the option to attach files. Now, when I open and select this attach button, you're going to notice a big difference here. Um, everything has to be in your Google Drive. So the only attachments that you can do are going to be something that you have already taken the time to save in your drive. Uh, so of course, any of those Google Slides, documents, drawings, any of those uh, will have to um, be here. But if you're used to being able to put in a web link or to attach a video for the students to watch, that is going to have to be either um, attached separately in Brightspace, uh, linked within the instructions in the uh, Google assignment box that we were just in, or have it embedded directly into whatever this uh, attachment is that you're giving to your students. So thinking back to that idea of a lesson package that we've talked about in the past. Uh, you could also, of course, do a hyperdoc if you wanted. But all of the links are going to have external links outside of what is in Google uh, will need to be given to the students in some other manner. So I'm going to come in here. Um, you'll also notice that when this opens, it immediately goes to your recent files. So uh, if you've you know, just created the template that you want your students to use with, that's going to populate right up at the top for you. But in my case, I'm going to go and select My Drive. Now, you'll notice when I open My Drive, this is going to default to being in order by when it was last modified. So if I want to go by alphabetical order, I have to click on Name. So I'm going to select Name. And this will then reorder my list of folders uh, to one that's going to be a little bit, um, at least for me, easier to navigate because it's going to be in alphabetical order for me. So now that I am in my folder where I have the attachment that I want to um, attach to this assignment for my students, all I need to do is select it. I also wanted to point out here that you'll notice that the only areas you'll be able to get files from when using the Google Assignments um, built into Brightspace is from your My Drive or, or your Shared Drive. So if someone has shared something with you and it's still sitting in your Shared with me uh, in Google Drive, you will need to move that over into your My Drive. So from here I'm going to go ahead and select this character map. I'm going to hit Add. And you'll see just like if we were in Classroom, it now has added that file to the bottom of this assignment. The only option that you have in using the Google Assignments piece is that every student is going to get a copy. So you will only use Google Assignments if you want to push out um, that copy for everyone in your class and they're going to be working on something independently. 
Now I can of course go through and hit attach again and if I needed to select some other document that I wanted all of my students to get a copy of I could do that. So once again I can go through and I can have multiple documents they just all have to be saved in my uh, Google Drive in order to be accessed here. Once I'm happy with how this looks, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Now again, because this is opened in another window, you may have to scroll down a little bit in order to see that create button. So I'm going to go ahead and select create. It's going to come up and tell me that it's saving all of the details. And then all of those extra windows that open uh, will automatically close for me. And now when I come into uh, this Brightspace, if I come down here under this unit, I'm going to see here is my assignment, that video demo that I created. And when I look over here on the left hand side, excuse me, right hand side, I will see that this assignment has now been inserted into my Brightspace unit. Now, a couple of things here. One, you'll see that I have to use a scroll bar in order to come down to see everything. Now, this will take a few moments before this box here will populate with my student names as well as the status of their assignment, but that will eventually come in. If I need to edit the assignment once I have uh, inserted it, I can come up here to my pencil and that's going to allow me to uh, change the title as well as any directions that I might have left for my students. If I need to edit something other than the title or the instructions, you can see I can uh, just within this box itself, I can come in here and change the total point value. Um, it'll prompt me when I go to do that. And I can also change my date here as well if necessary. So you still have the ability to kind of change things here. Um, you cannot go back and add a rubric if you decide to do that at a later date. Um, if I need to see my files, I click on the paper clip and that will bring up whatever files I have attached. But again, those I am unable to edit once I have created that initial assignment. If I need to change any of those things, I'm going to have to go back and create the assignment from scratch.